welcome to the new video subphylum vertebrata so these are the different types of vertebrate animals the general features of vertebrata they are cranes because they possess skull bones notochord in the embryo and vertebral column in the adult the notochord is present only in the embryo but not in the adult which is completely replaced by vertebral column, hence it is called vertebrata. High degree of cephalization, that means formation of head by the fusion of several anterior segments to accommodate what? Brain and sense organs. So, you can see different segments are the four pairs of cranial bones are there to form the skull in order to accommodate the brain and the sense organs. So, there are total 29 facial bones are there. In the cranium, there, there are four pairs of bones are the frontal bones, parietal bone, occipital bones and temporal bones each in pairs. So there is a well developed nervous system and a brain case. Sensory and motor type of cranial and spinal nerves are present. So this is an important character of what vertebrata. Sensory that carries sense impulses, sensory impulses and motor impulses from the cranial and spinal nerves. <laughs> Gill slits and visceral arches may be present in embryonic, embryonic forms in amniotes. Amniotes means what? Uh, reptiles, birds and mammals. In reptiles, birds and mammals, they have a membrane called amniote, hence it is called amniotes. In that, the gill slits and visceral arches are present only in the embryonic forms. But in frogs, it is present in the larval forms or throughout the life in fishes. So the gill slits and visceral arches are present throughout the life in fishes, in larval forms in frogs and embryonics in amniotes like reptiles, birds and mammals. Endoskeleton is cartilaginous or bony. Metamerism is a common feature of vertebrates. The metamerism is seen in embryo where you can see the these are the paired mesodermosomes are the from which different organs are seen. So these are all present in segments. In adult, the vertebrae, muscles and nerves are segmented. So there is a closed circulatory system, a massive liver and a pancreas, mesoderma kidneys, there are three types of kidneys are the one is called a pronephros, mesonephros and Metanephros. Mesoderma kidney, kidney means what? The kidney is developed from the mesoderm. There are three layers. Uh, the innermost layer is called endoderm, middle is called mesoderm, the outer layer is called ectoderm. So from the mesoderm, the kidneys are developed and there are three types of kidney based on their position. This is called the pronephros, which are primitive forms, and mesonephros, their position is somewhat in the middle region of the, your abdominal region. Hence called mesonephros, you can see where in which animals these are present, fishes, shark, amphibians, and in the uh, most developed animals, so these are this kidney are present at the lower part of the abdomen or either side of the vertebral column. So this is called a metanephros kidney, this is a mesonephric kidney, and this is a pronephric kidney. So there are three types of kidney are present in the vertebrata. There is a schizocelic coelom. Coelom is what? That it, a true coelom means what? Which is covered by a mesoderm. Schizocelic coelom means what? A coelom is formed by the splitting of mesoderm. The mesoderm is splitted. Hence it is called a schizo. Schizo means what? Splitting. Divided. So these coelom are formed by the splitting of mesoderm. Hence it is called a schizocelic coelom. Development of neural crest and embryonic tissue giving rise to sense organ and tetraplastic conditions. So there are additional layers of cells called this is called the neural crest. We can all uh, normally three layers are there: um, endoderm, mesoderm, and ectoderm. There will be an additional layer of cells that is called neural crest, from which all different types of organs are formed. Crest derivatives: contraplast, control side bone cells. Osteocytes, cartilaginous cells, fibroblasts, odontoblast cells, cardiac mesenchymes, myoblast muscle cells, adipocytes, adipocytes means what? Lipid storing cells. All these 
all these cells are derived from the neural crystals then next one is what tripartite brain that is there is a three divisions in the brain that is forebrain midbrain and hindbrain as you know duplication of fox gene fox gene means what a group of related gene which control the body plan in the embryo in the cranial caudal planes anterior posterior planes uh, so the hox gene content is increased due to evolutions that's why they are able to stand in the upright position so there are two super classes and uh, uh, phylum uh, subphylum vertebrata this is first one is what super class agnatha so what are the main characters they are nojo hence the name agnatha fish like vertebrates this is one of the example for super class agnatha fish like vertebrates they they are not fish but they look like a fish pouches in passage between pharynx and exterior there will be patch pouches you can see some special structures in between the pharynx and to the exterior distinct cranium with notochord is present nostrils single and median there is only single nostrils and which is placed in median position paired fins are absent there is no paired fins in fins are present two orders are the ostracodermy which is an extinct form so their members are not present in the, in the present conditions there is no living forms are present in the ostracodermy order and then second one is called the cyclostoma cyclostomata which is the living forms this is an example for cyclostomata so class cephalospidomorphy under that there is a one order that is called cyclostomata cyclo means what round stomata means opening so that means simply means round opening or round mouth jaws and teeth are absent you can see there is no jaws <coughs> paired appendages and genital ducts are absent nostril is single and median 7 to 14 pairs of gills are present you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 gills are present they are mostly ectoparasitic fishes so this is a cyclostomata so with the help of that mouth which att attaches on the surface of the larger fishes <coughs> cartilage they have a cartilaginous endoskeleton no scales are present circulation close type representative of very primitive group of ancient vertebrates and called living fossils so they are also called living fossils cyclostomata is also known as living fossils kidneys are elongated roof of skull is membranous larval stages possess endostate endostate is something related with the thyroid gland so there are two examples petromyzone and mixin so this is a mouth rounded mouth of what a petromyzone or mixin so there is no jaw hence called as cyclic round mouth hence called cyclostomata so this is petromyzone this is his mouth and this is the mixin these are all comes under cyclostomata so that's it thanks for watching